Oh dear. That could be his last shot in this year's European Masters. It's a possible. One. Well, with the Reds pre-split and they're lovely the way they're placed. If O'Sullivan's going to make a sizable break to finish off, what an opportunity here. Yeah, it wasn't easy for Mark. Hampered over the green there. But Ronnie will, will try and, well, 100% here to nail it at this, uh, this visit. You know, if Hi. Mark starts coming back at him 3 2, you never know, it might be into a decider. So when you get the opportunity like this, you have to try and kill off the match if you can. And to be honest, Ronnie's one of the best in the game at doing that. That's why he's won so much. Twelve. Thirteen. Well, it didn't take long to get around the black spot where these boys like to be. A little cannon on the left and red here would be perfect. Push it away from the, the black spot, stay under the two. Oh well, well, it doesn't matter who's missed the cannon, it's still on one. 28. 29. That kicked as well. Didn't come back as the uh, as the normal 36. angle of the black, and now he's the wrong angle. He might be able to just get through the gap for the pink. Snookered himself. That's not good. He's got the green. Won't be best pleased with that one. Well, he's been disciplined all match. Now, does he? play the safety or does he chance his arm with the green? I think it's going to be the latter, isn't it? The way yeah. he's looking at this. He's had a look at the angle, Phil. I think he's going for the green here. Oh, has he changed his mind now? Yep, I think he's having a go at this. Oh. No problem. It was said, we've been saying the last couple of weeks, we just thought that Ronnie was slightly ring rusty, but I'll tell you what. He's getting there, isn't he? 41. He is, and this isn't the easiest of tables. Well, he generates more spin than anybody on the cue ball, with lack of effort, really, with the superb cue action that he has. But I don't know, this is just, just looks a bit lumpy, this table, and a bit heavy. 48. But uh, there is a refit overnight, as I've mentioned. Yes, the strange 49. thing is, it seemed to play perfectly adequately this afternoon mm. as evidenced by the number of high breaks compiled fifty six the lead fifty six yeah, of course fifty six the break but I'll tell you what would be a nice way to finish if he makes a ton fifty seven his first this week it would be his first this year That's incredible, though, isn't it? Yes, this is his 51st frame of the season. Will it be the charm? 65. Getting close to the winning line. In fact, this is in frame and match ball. And he won't miss this one to the middle. So, this vast crowd in here, the circle, Globus and Bucharest, knowing that Ronnie O'Sullivan 72. is going into the last four. 
Yes, and you get the feeling now they'll be back again tomorrow night when he takes on either Neil Robertson or Anthony McGill. Yeah, straight to the box office for the tickets. And there's no getting away from it. He is Mr. Box Office when it comes to snooker. Seventy-nine. Now, worth concentrating on blacks here. If you can pot three reds, three blacks, and all the colours, he would make the highest break of the tournament by one. One, three, seven. Eighty-seven. Currently, the holder of the distinction is Mark Silby with one, three, six. Well, you have to power that in to get the angle. The only danger here is that he might push the red to the cushions. Oh, well, he's gone for the pink, so he's, he can only make a 136. Well, his first century of the season, would you believe it? But a nice place to make it. 102. Eight hundred and twenty-five career centuries now. If he keeps playing full, there's no doubt I think he will pass the thousand mark, you know. Hundred and nine. Well about that, he's got the with the blue off the cushion and landed nicely on the green. He's a joy to behold. Never been one like him before. Might never be again. 118. In a snooker sense, savour him while you've still got him here. Playing brilliantly. Well, the black to level up with Mark Selby, then take half the prize away from him. Oh, what a pity. Selby's happy, <laughs> but so too is Ronnie O'Sullivan. Finished with a flourish. A 129 break, and this very sizable crowd in Bucharest, Romania, have just seen a genius in action. Before that, it wasn't brilliant stuff from O'Sullivan. He was doing enough. But what a way to conclude the match. A 129 break to finish off, and Ronnie O'Sullivan defeats that man, Mark Davis, by four frames to one. For O'Sullivan, the semi-finals beckon.